class. This is your teacher, Miss Workman, and you're about to participate in something called Flipping the Classroom. You're going to be watching this video at home, as we talked about in class, and then in class, you're going to be doing your homework or practicing the skills that we've talked about. Today, I've invited my friend DeWizzles to help us understand the metric system. So, stop, Miss Workman. Is there anything you can do to help us understand converting within the metric system? Well, I think I might be able to help you. Yesterday, I was talking to my cousin Maeve. And I said, Maeve, do you think that maybe yesterday you was measuring something or, or maybe converting in the metric units? And she said, well, I was. She goes, Cousin DeWizzles. She's the only one that calls me Cousin DeWizzles. Everyone else calls me DeWizzles. She said, I had me a little rhyme. And I said, a rhyme? And she goes, yeah, I had me a rhyme to help me remember converting units within the metric system. And she said, it goes like this. Kangaroo helps dingo because dingo can't multiply. And I said, what? And she goes, well, look at each letter. We have K, H, D, B, D, C, M. And she goes, we're just going to create steps. And so it went a little like this. So in order to convert, we go, kangaroo helps dingo because dingo can't multiply. And then you just fill in your letters. And Ms. Workman, I think you know exactly what goes on from here? Am I right? So this silly sentence is, so the silly sentence tells us how many steps to draw and what the label should be. You got it, Miss Workman. So this would be kilo. This would be centi. And this would be milli. I have named milli, but that's okay. And this would be our base. And in the metric system, we have three main bases. Meter. Oh, I know what that is. Hold on, look at this. This is meter, right? That is one meter. Liter. Oh, I got that too. Look, Miss Workman. One liter. This bottle, right up to there. That is a liter. And gram. Isn't a gram about the weight of a paper clip? Am I right, Ms. Workman? That's exactly right. I'm telling you what, my cousin May, she is smart. So when we're measuring length or distance, we're going to be using the base meter. When we're measuring volume of liquid, we're going to be using liter. And when we're measuring weight or mass, we're going to be using gram. These can also be abbreviated with a lowercase m, a capital L, and a lowercase so a lowercase m for meter, a capital L for liter, and a little g for gram. Is that what you're telling me, Miss Workman? That's correct. Great. Let's do some practice. We have five grams, and we want to know how many milligrams we have. We start out with our base step. Why? Because we don't have a g here, but I know that g is my base unit gram, yeah. so I'm going to start out on my base step. Got it. How do I know which way to go? So now I need to go to the prefix milli for milligram. So I need to go down the step, one, two, three. So I went down the step to the right three times. Now what do we do, Miss Workman? So I have my whole number. Always at the to the right of that whole number. And then I'm going to move my decimal. One, two, three. Times. Now I'm going to fill in the spaces with zeros. Are you telling me that five grams are equal to five thousand milligrams? That's exactly right. Wow. And we can check this because we know that there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram. So then in 5,000 milligrams, there's going to be 5 grams. Am I right, Ms. Workman? Yes. Each time, awesome. we're multiplying by 10. So this well, that is seems easy. 10 times more, 100 times more, 1,000. I like this metric system, Ms. Workman. Can we I do like another one lots. just to make sure I'm on the right track, Ms. Huh? Ms. Workman? You're going to 
gonna make me do this one too. We're, we're starting with a decimal point in the middle. I'm not sure I like this, Ms. Workman, but I'll do my best because I know you won't need me to stray. I remember you telling me that a capital L was a base, right? And that was liters. So that was liquid, right? Yes, that's it. All right, so I'm going to start here, right? How am I going to know which direction to go? Well, you said milliliter. That's down here, am I right? Milliliter. So I need to go down the steps to the right. One two, three. Is that right, Ms. Workman? That's right, the whistles. All right, let me see. 2.5. I have to move my decimal point to the right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Move my decimal point. Fill in with zeros. Ms. Workman, is it possible that two and a half liters is equal to 2,500 milliliters. That is correct, because it takes 1,000 milliliters to fit in one liter. Wow, milliliters must be pretty small. They are. Cool. What's next, Miss Workman? You gonna test me again? Let's say we have 12 kilograms. And you wanna know how many grams no boy, I'm glad I talked to Maeve yesterday. I said, Maeve, I want to need some help because Miss Workman called me and she's talking about the metric system and I'm just not sure. And Maeve, she set me straight. Thanks, Maeve. Let's see here. Hmm. Kilograms. That's not a base. Because it has a K there. I know gram is a base. Yes. Kilograms must be way up here. Am I right? That's exactly K for right. kilo. Okay, for kilo, so I'm gonna start right here. How am I gonna know where I need to go? Well, there's that G, that's a gram. That was a base, am I right? That's right. I'm telling you how. Taught me well. Between you and my cousin Maeve, I can't go wrong. One, two, three. Am I right, Ms. Workman? That's correct. All right, so I'm gonna write my number here. And I'm going to put my decimal point because it always goes to the right. You know that, right? That's right. You know that, right? Yes. All right. I thought I could teach the teacher. All right. So I went down the steps. Am I right, Ms. Workman? That's correct. So I'm going to the right. Like that, Ms. Workman. One, two, three. I'm going to put my decimal point there, right, Ms. Workman? Yes. I'm going to put my zeros in here to fill in the spaces, right, Ms. Workman? Yes. Are you telling me that 12... Kilograms is equal to 12,000 grams? That is correct. Wow, Ms. Workman. That is awesome. Let's try one more. One more? You're going to test me. I'm not even going to ask you if I'm right this time. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Let's say we have two grams. We want to know how many grams that is. So we have. And I'm glad my cousin Maeve has been doing a lot of measuring because she helped me out. All right, grams of base. I'm gonna circle that. I'm not gonna ask you if I'm right. I'm just gonna talk a lot. Two grams, I'm gonna start here because that's a base, so I know where I'm starting. I need to figure out where I'm going. That's a kilogram. I was just over there, that was up here. I'm finally getting to go up here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to the left. So I'm going here. So if I start here, I have to go one, two, three. I went up to three, so I start here. And did you know, Ms. Workman, that the decimal point always goes to the right of that whole number? Okay. Just making sure. And I went up one, two, so three. One, so two, three. I gotta put those zeros in there and I have a decimal point. So let me tell you what, that tells me that that is two thousandths. So am I, well, am I, two grams is equal to two thousandths of a kilogram. That's exactly right. Because Ta -da. you went up and to the left, that tells you to move your decimal to the left. You know what, Ms. Workman? I think I got this all under control. I think I can do this. Between you and my cousin Maeve, I'm good. That's excellent. So now we need to practice on our own, don't we? Yes. I can do that. 